Hello class, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the reflective journal assignment. I know a lot of my students prefer me to say these assignments uh, through video so that they uh, fully understand what I'm expecting. All right, let me see if I can make this nice and big. There we go. All right, so the reflective journal assignment is my sneaky way of making sure you learn something in my class. What I want you to do is tell me about your life, utilizing sociological concepts um, to frame those experiences. So I remember back when I was five and I was playing on the playground and one of the teachers came over to me and said, you can't play like that. You're playing like the boys. How are you ever going to get a boyfriend if you don't learn how to be a lady? Let's say something like that. And I, you know... I said, I don't care. I don't want a boyfriend or some, something like that. So there's my story. There's the, the memory, right? Now I look at it and I say, looking back on that after taking my introduction, introduction to sociology class, I can see that there were gender norm expectations being put on my behavior as early as grade school. Of course, it's going to happen a lot earlier than that. But uh, in the interaction, the adult female is telling the child female that she has to behave in a certain way if she wants to uh, marry when she gets older, right? So the expectations for female behavior is often focused on marriage and marriageability, whereas um, men are not as often socialized to be worried about getting a mate by their behavior so much as, I think, getting a mate by succeeding in life but oftentimes young that you don't hear about oh you're never going to get a wife that way right um so different social uh, expectations on gender what else would i say um the uh, heteronormative uh, expectation that she would say you know you're never going to get a husband assuming that i'm a heterosexual right so there's heteronormativity there's gender socialization there's um, the idea that females are more fragile and should not play in the same way as boys, right? Three sociological concepts, one memory, right? So in your uh, reflective journal assignment, you're going to do this three times, right? You're going to give me three different memories, two or three, and you're going to use sociological concepts to frame the story. Super easy. Um, and you'll find that like, oh, I totally already knew sociology. I just didn't realize the names and concepts and terms that applied to my everyday life. Um, furthermore, what else did I want to say about this? Um, if you're going to utilize the three sociological paradigms or perspectives, conflict theory, functionalist theory, and symbolic interactionist theory, remember that doesn't count as a concept for your paper, but also if you're going to use that, you need to make sure that it makes sense. So like, I'm gonna use conflict theory as a means of talking about my life. Well, if you're going to do that, then you have to talk about um, systems of oppression that are put into place on the variables you're talking about. So me as a woman, me as a, you know, Whatever your variable is that is being oppressed in society, you need to focus in on that as the concept. Um, also, if you want to use symbolic interactionism, and I find that students often do, that's one of the more difficult ones to utilize because you can't just say, oh, and the symbol of the eagle means right now. What you have to say is utilizing symbolic interactionist theory, I could tell the meaning embedded in the interaction between us by the way the teacher uh, folded her arms or uh, tightened her forehead, right? Um, showing disdain and letting me know that my behavior was unacceptable for a girl. You have to utilize the actual interaction movements to, des you have to describe them in order to use that concept frame. All right, so this is a 200-page paper. You have to do um, two-page minimum, Times New Roman, uh, double-space font, one-inch margins, MLA format. You should be good to go. This should be a really fun uh, assignment. I look forward to reading about your stories. Ciao!